quick question for you guys. Okay. Can you hear children anywhere around here? All right, let's take a second. Maybe, uh... All I hear... Over there. I hear a car over there on that road. You can see its taillights. And I just hear dogs to the left over here, the north of us. I keep hearing, like... It's either children or a person talking really softly. You can hear things up to about a half mile away. So it could, it, possibility of children is likely. We're in a city, so yeah. We are about probably 20 yards away on this road walking. We just got readings to be directed to this tree. It is a very large tree. I don't know. I, I shined the light on and I couldn't make out what it was. It looked like a pile of hay bales. Some kind of tank. Chris, you want me to shut off? Yeah. We'll continue this. We're at the west side of Foster Island. This is the side of the island where the smallpox containment area was located. following this little path here, a little walking path or a deer path or whatever here. Is there anybody with us? Go straight back to the very end of the island here. And the island comes down here, you see the swampy water there, which ends the island. And it takes this water right here, goes back down into the river. And leading this way, it goes up to Foster Pond. Which we'll be walking up that direction here in a minute. But, this is the area where the smallpox containment area was. Basically everybody here was in quarantine. Is there anybody here with us tonight? Is there anyone here? Can you give us a sign of your presence? It's a little cold tonight, and it's where our temperature readings have been varied throughout the island, but for the majority of it, it's been anywhere between 38 and 41 degrees. Nothing, nothing really has pointed us out of the usual. Is there anyone here? Refocus here. Huh? I had to refocus. We're going to be coming up here on Foster Pond here in a second. But this whole area here, we're just following the path. This whole area, this whole wooded area here, was a smallpox containment area where they held the, uh, the prisoners in quarantine. If they had smallpox, they wouldn't let them out. 
or anything. So. Basically just sent over here to the west side of the island just to hang out and die. Pretty much. That right there with the tree fall down there. That's Foster Pond. The beginning part of it. We're walking in an easterly direct direction right now, so. This whole area here. If there's anybody here with us tonight, please show us the sign of your presence. Three, focus. Why is he doing that? Get moving. I think I heard it. Why did I hear it? There's anybody here? Can you give us a sign of your presence? Maybe you make a noise? Can you knock? Can you make a. Can you make a bang sound or a knocking sound? Maybe crack a stick? Look, Ryan. It's a gift for you. Oh. Let it snow. Here you go. No, I'd rather not touch mm -hmm. that. It's got here, here. Now, sometimes when we're doing a paranormal investigation, you gotta find, kind of find out what's what's happening, what's going on around you. And when your EMF meter sounds and alarms like this, right? You gotta find out what's around you. If you videotape around. You know, the video, take the video and just videotape around the area here. You don't really see too much. On up in the air, there's no power lines. There's no nothing. There's no power. You know, there's no power poles or anything like that. So my next step would be looking on the ground level, seeing if there's any underwater, under uh, underground cables. Now, if I go down with the EMF meter, you realize that it's going to go off. And the act, the actual meter is getting stronger. I'm going down. You hear the, the alarm getting faster. It lets me know that there's an underground cable right here, an under under underground live power cable underneath the ground right here. And if we come back here, the meter's zero. But if we go down, you make it back to the rendezvous point. If we go down to that that spot again. The meter's actually gone up four mm. four and a half. Five. And I can actually find exactly where it's at by the sound of the meter. See how it's getting slower here? If I go this way, yeah. it's actually picking up right there. Yeah. This is very good for a any ghost hunter to know. So, always, whenever I hear my EMF meter go off, I always check two spots. I'm always checking the air, making sure I'm not underneath any power lines. No. And I'm also looking on the ground, making sure that there's no power lines on the ground or, or in this case, under the ground. Yeah. You want me to turn it off now? Yeah.